Hi everybody, just a brief video today to look at a tool within InfraWorks that will help improve our ability to visualize our terrains. So let me explain. I've got a model that's been created here in InfraWorks. Uh, in this model I've got a, a large open area that uh, I'm going to look at doing some development on, maybe putting together some proposals. But uh, it doesn't look as though there's a lot of relief to the site, but there probably is some. It's just such that trying to view it as a terrain makes it a little difficult to see, you know, drainage and things like that. So that as I start to lay it out, I'd like to be able to take those, you know, that type of information into consideration. So the easier way to be able to see this or to be able to visualize it would be through contours. And with, I'm using the 2017.3 version of InfoWorks 360, we have the ability to display contours so that I can get that additional information. So let me show you how that would work. I'm going to come up under my roadway tools and we'll go up to the uh, design or the create area. And there's a tool here now called parcels. And what we're going to do is with parcels, I'm just going to take and make a boundary around the area that I'm interested in. We're going to leverage the parcel tools, kind of like a, a viewer, to be able to see my contour information. I'll double click when I'm finished. With the parcel created, I'm going to come over to the side with the tools that are available to me. I'm going to scroll down, and at the bottom there's now an option that says contour display. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on, and I'm going to set the display of those contours to be one foot interval, and we'll hit enter to execute that. All right, so now immediately you can see the uh, the contours. They might be a little bit uh, difficult to display, especially if your terrain has a lot of, uh, you know, aerial underneath it that might make darker contours difficult to see. Uh, if we'd like to improve the display of that, make that a little bit easier to see, we can come up in our uh, view area here and we can create uh, different types of views to, uh, to view the information in our model. I've got one created already. One is set up for conceptual, one is set up for engineering. That's what we get out of the box, whether we uh, see the sun, whether we've got you know moving clouds and things like that. I'm going to make a new one here to make it a little bit easier to see these contours. So we'll create a custom view. I'm going to click on Add. And in my, my view settings here, uh, we'll go ahead and, and set that for how we'd like to see it. So I'm going to adjust my brightness, maybe drop my uh, contrast down a bit maybe tweak my light intensity until I can get a display that um, you know meets my needs. I can come back in here as well and start to you know turn off different things like I'd mentioned before with the sky or animation for the water and that things that make sense I can adjust the surface opacity um, so that I get a, a view more consistent with what I'm looking for and then in that uh, that custom view area we'll go ahead and uh, I'll give that a name so we'll go ahead and edit that. I'll call that uh, Tuesday for right now. All right, so that uh, looks good. I now have my view Tuesday. Uh, I also have, I'm going to hit the escape key to uh, tell it that I'm done Oops, putting down parcels. And we'll go ahead and select on the parcel itself. And you'll see that we've got grips. And now using this parcel, I can drag a little bit further off to the side because we can see with one foot contours that there's obviously some uh, well, if I hover, I can see by the, my elevations, I can see it's 836 at this point. I can see down in this direction, it's 830. So before I even start thinking about doing any development on this site, I can see there's probably some rainwater or drainage issues that are rolling off into this uh, adjoining neighborhood. You know, from there, uh, I can continue to uh, uh, pan and adjust and make this area larger to where I can, you know, view the, uh, locate the low point. Uh, see ultimately where it's going and then even start to leverage some of the tools for drainage to determine a watershed and find out what's tributary to that area. So anyway, my uh, my main goal today was uh, to take a look at using the parcel as a tool to view contours to help you vet better visualize the information that makes up your terrains. So I hope this is helpful and I look forward to talking to you again soon. See ya.